Last year, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services officially declared the current opioid epidemic a public health emergency. A task force in Morrison County is aiming to combat the crisis. Here in Little Falls, we have a comprehensive care program that we started a few years ago, where we first started by monitoring patients uh, for the appropriateness of narcotics. So patients who didn't really have a reason to be on narcotics, they were tapered. People who needed narcotics who were maybe on too much, they got that cut down to more safe doses. We then turned it over into starting to treat patients with opioid use disorder. The program got started in 2015 by a grant through the Affordable Care Act when Morrison County saw that there were over 100,000 pills given out each month in a county with only 33,000 residents. The program partners with community members such as the Sheriff's Department and local pharmacists to improve informative decision making, increase proper awareness, and change the culture of narcotic prescribing. We've been quite successful. We have cut over 500,000 opioids out of our community of 30,000. We have now over 68 active patients who are on treatment, who are back to jobs, back to working, back to their families, just back living normal lives, who are no longer addicted. St. Gabriel's Health in Little Falls hosted a forum to bring local political candidates to the table and to talk about how this program could be mirrored in other communities. And we're here today to have a really good discussion with these candidates on what funding is needed, funding down the road for other critical access hospitals, and we can provide a replicable program in rural Minnesota that we want these candidates to learn about. The task force hopes to spread to other areas and show other communities that fighting the problem of opioid abuse is attainable and possible. I would like to see this go statewide. I'd like to see this program become something that becomes an education program that can be used in any community so that any community can recreate the efforts they're doing here and, and they have a place to fall back on when, when they need to answer their questions. Um, we've now started to touch communities in other states, so I just hope that continues to grow and have people realize this is very doable. Reporting from Little Falls, Rachel Johnson, Lakeland News. Thank you.